Welcome to video 12.3a. Today we're going to be talking about the surface area of circular solids, which includes cylinders and cones, and we'll also be talking about spheres. So our first formula is the lateral area of a cylinder. We know lateral area means the area of the sides. So if we take a look at this cylinder right here, I'm not talking about the top or the bottom, notice they're empty, so this piece of paper represents the lateral area of a cylinder. If you open it up, you'll see that it's nothing more than a rectangle. So in looking back at it as a cylinder, I can see the one dimension right here is the height of the cylinder. So that's one side of the rectangle that opens up. The other side, if I unroll it, this edge right here, you can see makes the circumference of that circle. So the one edge of the rectangle is the circumference and the other edge is the height. So the lateral area of a cylinder is 2 pi r. That represents this edge, this circumference, and then the other side of the rectangle is represented by h, or we just say 2 pi r h. To get the total area of a cylinder, we just need to add in the bottom and the top. Those are circles. So we know I would take the 2 pi r h, and then I would add on a pi r squared for the bottom. Another one for the top means I have 2 pi r squared added on. The lateral area of a cone, the formula is pi r l, where l represents this slant edge on the cone. You can see it labeled there. The total area of the cone would include that lateral area and the bottom. Notice a cone only has one bottom. We have no top on the cone, so it would be pi r l plus pi r squared for the bottom. And the total area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. 